Well, it's done. As you can see, that's all in there except for that piece and that piece, which are no bueno. And uh, I have a feeling that this video is going to become more of a what not to do. As you can see, I ran out. Ran out of the epoxy. And I was having some issues with it because it was that type of epoxy that I got at Lowe's was a little thick. And difficult to work with and it set up faster than five minutes. I don't give a shit what anybody says. That is not five minute epoxy. And then this right here, this easy cast, which I got off of Amazon. Well, that was thinner. And when I mixed that, I used a little bit less hardener. And this Gorilla Epoxy that I ended up finishing off with, as you can see, I left a little bit of hardener on that too, just because I, I didn't have enough time to do anything. So this is probably going to become a what not to do tale of epic failure. But the nice thing about YouTube is that I can talk with people who actually do this kind of shit for a living and ask them, you know, what is it that you do to get a little bit extra time out of your epoxy, but also have it get good and hard, you know, at the end of the day. I don't care about curing time. I'll let this cure for, for a week if I need to. Well, I think the wife wouldn't be too happy. She kind of wants her knife. But anywho, also, worst of all, see that? Didn't get drunk. Gloves kept my hands nice and clean, though. Got a little bit of stuff to clean up with some uh, denatured alcohol. No big deal. But, yeah. YouTube. If you could please do me a lovely favor and let me know what I can do to get this stuff to cure slower, but also cure hard, I would be much appreciative. I've even gone as far as th thinking about using something like cactus juice, which is a resin that is a heat cure. I forget what temperature it cures at. And I don't know if I can still do paper micarta, you know, curing at something like 250 degrees in an oven. But that might be my, my next best option over doing something like this because it just, there was just too many layers. Uh, by the time everything is all said and done, you know, this paper ended up at, at right around an inch, inch and an eighth thick. So... Tomorrow, I'll be videotaping this, and you guys can see my epic saga of defeat or triumph. There's not a whole lot of wiggle room between those two. It's pretty much triumph or defeat. So, this is your beef burger, baconator, slayer, slumping his head in most like most uh, in, in anticipation of defeat. I slump my head and drink my somewhat cold beer.